Hello everyone! I'm Thomas and today we'll be exploring Gabon. On this channel, we'll delve into the amazing biodiversity, rich culture and stunning landscapes of this fascinating African country. From the lush jungles of Longo National Park and its incredible species from wildlife to the vibrant traditions of its people, we will discover together the hidden treasures of Gabon. Ready for an unforgettable adventure? Subscribe now and join me on this exciting journey through Gabon! Hello everyone! I'm Andy and I will accompany you on this new adventure through Gabon. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell for new adventures together. Are you ready? Let's go! Gabon! Gabon is located on the Atlantic coast of Central Africa, near the equator. It borders the Equatorial Guinea to the northwest, Cameroon to the north, the Republic of Congo to the east and south, and the Gulf of Guinea to the west. Its capital and largest city is Libreville. French is the official language throughout the country. In some provinces, Spanish and Portuguese are also co-official. Additionally, the population continues to use indigenous languages such as Bantu. The currency of Gabon is the CFA Franc XAF. One United States dollar equals 602.37 Central African CFA francs. Most of the population is Christian. There are also animists and a small minority of Muslims. Religion does not significantly affect travelers. Gabon has a tropical savanna climate. It is hot year-round, both in the dry and wet seasons. The average annual temperature in Gabon is 28 degrees Celsius, and the average annual precipitation is 1,211 millimeters. It rains for 86 days per year, the average humidity is 83%, and the UV index is 7. This was a great start about Gabon. Now let's go to your current situation. Come on! Current situation in Gabon Gabon's politics operate within a framework of a republic where the president is both the head of state and the head of government as they appoint the prime minister and their cabinet. Gabon's economy is characterized by its close relationship with France, a high number of foreign investors, dependence on foreign skilled labor, and a progressive decline in agricultural activity. Its per capita income is four times that of many sub-Saharan African nations, though high income inequality means a significant portion of the population is poor. Gabon relied on firewood and manganese until oil was discovered in the early 1970s. Today, the oil sector accounts for 50% of GDP and 80% of exports. Certain areas of the country, both in the south and north, have poverty rates exceeding 40%. What to see and do in Gabon? Longo National Park known as the last Eden of Africa, here temperate streams zigzag through patches of forest and savanna, while vast lagoons dotted with islands and kilometers of white sand beaches provide habitats for various creatures. It is famous for its mythical surfing hippos, but also offers the highest concentration of whales and dolphins, elephants strolling on the beach, western lowland gorillas in the forests, and rare mammals frolicking in the savanna. For those who can afford it, Longo is one of the best destinations on the planet for wildlife viewing. Kangu Visit Gabon's most spectacular waterfalls in Kangu and take a traditional canoe, pirogue, tour through the jungle. Kangu Falls and Makoku, the small capital of the Aguavindo region, are Gabon's version of Niagara Falls. Jungle and waterfall camping, pirogue tours, and a long list of activities can be organized at very reasonable prices, and it's also possible to negotiate for a bed for the night. Typical food Nyambwe, chicken with pine nuts. This was all about his news in Gabon. Now let's get to your curiosities. Come on! Interesting facts about Gabon. 1. Over 80% of the territory is covered by rainforest, the densest rainforest in Africa. Gabon enjoys great natural wealth and keeps its forests protected from exploitation. 2. Gabon has the largest population of elephants in the world, and hunting them is completely prohibited. Thus, elephants can thrive for long periods without fear of being hunted. 3. The country has been the site of ancient biodiversity discoveries. In one excavation, 400 fossils of multicellular organisms were found, dating back over 2.1 billion years. 
This discovery is particularly impressive as the previously known most complex multicellular organism was 600 million years old, marking a significant leap in time. 4. Gabon is home to orange crocodiles, which can only be seen in the country's caves, making them a unique species. The peculiar color may be due to depigmentation. Caused by the lack of light in the caves or the toxicity of guano, a substance formed naturally from bad excrement. 5. Longo National Park is also known as the Land of Surfing Hippos, a rare nickname. The name does not literally describe the situation, it refers to the hippos in the park that bathe and dodge the waves created on the local beaches. 6. Pongara National Park is like the younger sibling of Longo National Park but is the only place where buffaloes can be seen near the cities. It also has protected species such as the dwarf crocodile. 7. Fortunately, the annual deforestation rate is minimal, less than 1%, so at this rate, no harmful results are expected for a long time. 8. In 2010, Gabon banned the export of timber as a way to preserve its biodiversity. 9. One of Gabon's ongoing issues is developing the tourism industry without ruining its natural beauty. Increasing visitor numbers could eventually harm the ecosystem, destroying what was originally preserved. 10. Gabon's capital was founded by freed slaves from a Brazilian ship who were liberated by French authorities. They eventually established a settlement called Libreville, meaning free town in French. This was all about the curiosities of Gabon. Now let's go back in time and walk through its history. Come on! History Gabon, located on the west coast of Central Africa, has a rich and varied history. Before European colonization, the region was inhabited by various ethnic groups, including the Bantu and Pygmy peoples. In the 15th century, Portuguese explorers arrived on its shores, but it was the French who established a more lasting control in the 19th century. In 1885, Gabon became part of French Congo, and later, in 1910, it was included in French Equatorial Africa. The movement towards independence gained momentum in the 20th century, and in 1960, Gabon gained independence from France. Lyon MBA became the first president, followed by Omar Bongo in 1967. Bongo ruled the country for over 40 years, establishing an authoritarian regime and controlling the Gabonese Democratic Party PDG. Despite its wealth in natural resources, especially oil, Gabon has faced economic and social challenges, including inequalities and economic dependency on oil. The death of Omar Bongo in 2009 led to his son, Ali Bongo Ondimba, becoming president. He has remained in power, though not without controversies and allegations of electoral fraud. In recent years, Gabon has attempted to diversify its economy and improve infrastructure while facing internal and external pressures to reform its political and economic systems. This was all about Gabon. Now let's get to some questions for fun. Come on! Thanks for joining us on this journey. Yeah! I hope you've enjoyed the blend of history and charm. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and, of course, subscribe for more adventures. See you at the next destination. Bye for now.